I'm standing here looking at this OM617 turbo diesel, I'm feeling very confident we're going to get this thing running. You saw in the last video we did a compression test. This thing actually has pretty amazing compression considering the odometer is showing over 300,000 miles. I don't know how many miles on this particular engine. But today we're going to focus on the other two things that are critical to getting a diesel engine to run, and that's fuel delivery and heat, or the pre-glow system that provides heat in the pre-chamber to ignite the fuel while you're cranking the engine over to start it. If you're not getting proper fuel delivery at these injectors, and you're not getting enough heat to fire the fuel, you, you can crank all day. And what you don't ever do, I hear this over and over, oh, I'm going to try some starting fluid. Do not ever use starting fluid, or you can damage these engines, OK? No starting fluid allowed. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to pull the fuel injectors out, and we're going to test them with a bench tester. I'm assuming I'm already getting fuel. I can see fuel at the injectors. I'm not going to change the filters yet. I'm just going to pull those injectors and test them because that's where I see lots of problems. I've actually seen a couple engines destroyed due to poor fuel injection. In one case, it was overfueling and flooding the cylinder and it caused hydraulic lock and bent the connecting rod. Can you believe how much force that would take to bend the connecting rod going down the freeway at 60 miles an hour? Well, it happens, so you need to take care of your fuel injectors. And when we have those fuel injectors out, I'm gonna pull the glow plugs and change them. Even if they test okay, I'm gonna change them because most of the time the problem is not the glow plugs, it's the carbon buildup in the pre-chambers. I've seen it so bad that the carbon is actually touching the glow plug, causing premature burnout. And if it's bad enough, you won't even get the glow plug heating the pre-chamber enough to ignite the fuel. So that's important. We're gonna do fuel delivery at the fuel injectors. We're gonna do the pre-glow system. And once we get those glow plugs back in, we'll go ahead and test out the relay to make sure it's supplying 12 volts to those glow plugs. When you're doing a preliminary health exam on an old Mercedes diesel, you need to check the injectors, particularly if the car has been sitting a long time. Look at these. They actually look like they've been recently rebuilt. You might see something like this and say, oh, they're fine. I'm just going to put them back in the car. You do not want to do that. You want to test them. Look at what happens when we put this one on the tester and apply pressure to it. You see that? It's not even reaching 1950 PSI. This is a turbo diesel. Now let's check another one. What? Why isn't it squirting, Jerson? Oh, it's dribbling. It's leaking. <laughs> let's look at the pressure again. Look, there's no release all the way up to 2000 PSI, and all it's doing is leaking and leaking sideways at that. So this injector won't even fire if you're trying to get the engine to run. Now I'm going to show you a little trick that we sometimes use with our pressure tester. We try to massage these old injectors and get them to loosen up. Particularly, you know, it's got gummy fuel in it. And just massage it. Really work it back and forth real fast. Just keep going, going, going. This is the one that was stuck and was not opening at 2,000 PSI. Okay, let's retest. Look at this. Unbelievable. <laughs> Stand back. Okay, it's firing, and it's firing about 1,500. That's still too low, but at least we were able to get it unstuck. So all five of these are firing, but they're firing way too low. They should all be up around 1,950 PSI when they release under pressure. And next in line, before we reinstall those fuel injectors, we're going to pull these glow plugs out, check condition, and also check for excessive carbon in the pre-chambers. All right, before we put new glow plugs in, you have to decarbonize the pre-chamber with our special rimmer. This is one of those things that really gets neglected. And if there's too much carbon in there, it can actually short out the glow plug and it can prevent the engine from idling properly. So we're in the process of pulling it out. Let's see how much carbon we actually have on the flutes of this rimmer. It went in pretty hard, so we suspect... Yeah, I've seen worse, but you see the carbon, all that carbon. 
we need to get that out of those pre-chambers before we install the new plugs. When the carbon is real bad, you're going to see this when you pull that ream out. Look at how much carbon is caked between those flutes. So what happens there is the glow plug cannot reach full heat. Also, some of the fuel is absorbed into that carbon, which restricts proper combustion. So this is a must do on these old diesels. After installing these glow plugs, I'm just going to make sure the glow plug relay is working. So we're just checking for voltage. We're going to, you know, click on that relay and nothing. We're not getting any voltage. We're also not getting any sound at the relay and, and we're not getting any clicking. Let me show you why. So you can see here, this isn't the factory relay. Someone installed my glow override kit. Uh, replaces the relay with this solenoid and, and it's been rewired so that you have a push button inside the car and you push the button and you'll hear this click and <laughs> then that powers you know you can see it connected to the, all five wires going to the glow plugs well this isn't working right it's not it's not clicking it's not activating there's no voltage we have incoming voltage from the fuse box so I got poking around up here at the fuse box. We pulled the fuse box off and the wire connection inside the fuse box, the fuse was blown. So we fixed that. Now I'm going to get in the car and you can just watch this. You'll hear it click when I hit the button and that confirms that this relay is working properly. So on these manual systems, you'll usually just push the button in and hold it 8 to 10 seconds, and then you'll be ready to start. So we have power to the glow plugs now. Let's see if this thing starts. Are you ready? Look at that. We got success. I just knew it was going to run. 
And, but we're not done yet. You can tell there's still some issues with this engine. And I think what I want to do now, and I think what I would recommend you do if you're dealing with this type of situation, is do a little more work to make absolutely sure the engine is going to be okay before we start fixing other things on this car. There's a number of things that, that need fixing. So in the next video, we're going to see if we can get this engine to run really well, including very smooth and with lots of power. You think we can do it? Stay tuned for the next video.